Mm-hmm. Papa, go get my car for me. Okay. I can share a lead. What up, y'all? What up? What up? We got a quick word. We gonna get in, y'all. Um, hold tight. Hit the share button. Invite your friends, y'all. We're gonna be long, but we gonna get it on. You. Yeah.
What's yes, happening, Lord. y'all? What's happening, y'all? Big Game Ministry. We having yes, um, yes, instead Lord. of having service tomorrow night, we're gonna have it tonight. Yes, um, Lord. We apologize that it is so late, but the Lord said we gotta get this out. Yes, and Lord. Um, we appreciate if you were sure on your page. Um, even if you can't get all this word in tonight, yes, you'll be Lord. able to wake up and have it on your page in the morning. Yes, hey, uh, Samantha, what's hey, happening, Samantha. sis? Um, what's up to everybody that done tuned in, y'all? We appreciate you tuning in to this to this broadcast. Um, this song is very significant. Um, it, it's, it's, it said, be ready. Uh, we got to be ready. Amen. You understand? We in the crucial time. Um, yes, we have elections and all this going on. You have got to be ready for what's to come. Amen. Amen. You have to be ready. Amen. Okay, you have to Amen. be ready. You have Amen. to be ready. Amen. Um, when you go and vote, you got to be ready. Amen. You got to make the right decisions, and you can't lean on your own understanding. Amen. Um, you can't lean on your own feelings. You Amen. have to be ready. Amen. You have to be ready for the outcome. You have to be Amen. ready. Okay, Amen. you got to be ready. Amen. Um, not only decisions with that, but just decision in your life and what you want to move forward in doing and doing and be ready for the blessings that you're about to receive and Amen. how to be able to steward those blessings, to how to be able to share with others, pour into others. Um, it's not just for you. Understand that. Amen. It is not going to be just for you. The Lord will be answering your prayers. He will be, you will be receiving what you've been praying for. Amen. In, Amen. Jesus name, in Jesus' name, you will be receiving it, okay? But Amen. don't blow it. Do Amen. not blow it, okay? Amen. Do not be full of greed and be greedy. Um, don't be full of anger if you don't get the re the response that you was looking forward to. Mm -hmm. um, um, the Lord said uh, rejection is redirection. Mm. Amen. Amen. It is not failure. Amen. Amen. Um, rejection. Is redirection. Amen. <clears throat> Excuse me. He's just redirecting you into another lane or into where he decides for you to go. Sometimes we lean on our own will. We, we want our own will to be done. But first of all, we must understand that it is his will. It is his will. That's right. So we must ask in prayer, Lord, I want to do your will. Show me your will instead of mine. That's right. um, I have, we have experienced it um, lately and everything. Just design certain things to go our way because we was caught up in our will. Mm -hmm. But that rejection right. was a redirection. Amen. It wasn't a brick wall. It wasn't a failure. Right. Because right. uh, some of the things we asked for, the Lord said, no, I don't have that for you. But you steady as he said, okay, here, here you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let me show you that it wasn't for you. Okay. That's not what I had for you. That's right. The Lord wants more for you than you even want for yourself. Amen. Yes, He does. Okay. Yes, He does. He want to add on top of. He gonna. He gonna. He gonna outdo what you desire. He just want to know what you desire. Okay, that's what you want. Okay, I know. See what you want, but <laughs> truly, I tell you, I have better. You feel <laughs> what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, the word tonight, y'all, is um, um, God's wisdom. It is the Lord's wisdom. We must use the Lord's wisdom. We must ask for wisdom. He said, you ask and you shall re receive it generously. Mm -hmm. like, he would love to give you the wisdom. He don't want you to lean on your own understanding. That's right. He don't want you to lean on your own emotions and feelings. That's um, right. The Lord anoints and appoints who he desires. It is he who set kings and queens at their spot. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right? A lot of people say, well, um, God is my president, duh, but he assigns people he to be in certain positions, somebody. okay? Right. He assigns people, okay? Mm -hmm. Know that. Know that. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, there's a lot of deception going on. Um, just listen to the radio and a lot of stuff. It's a lot of deception going on. It's a lot of stuff, all right? They want, you to, they want to feed you into their emotions and this and that, but the Lord is, is doing a separation, that's right. He is doing a separation. And you have to be careful on what you choose to do. That's right. What you choose to do. That's right. That's right. Ask the Lord for wisdom on what he chooses for you to do. All right. That's right. 
and um, know that because of times that we are in, we are living in revelations. We know that Bible is Bible prophecy. Amen. So we know that revelations makes it very clear the times that we are in. We are in the end times. So that means that we begin to move and think differently. So we don't do what we used to do. See, we used to use our own wisdom. We used to vote. And we used to vote based on traditional beliefs, the way we were raised. Everything we used to do was either tradition, we were taught that way, or we used our own wisdom, or it's based on our own emotions and feelings. But see, we are now in, in the end times, we in Revelation, so we can't move on our own wisdom anymore. There comes a separation that's going to happen whether you decide that you're going to use God's wisdom or not. It's still going to happen. It's biblical. It's in Bible prophecy. So that's why it's important to understand and to seek God for his wisdom in literally in every single thing that you do. That way you're not going wrong. That way you are staying. You are aligned with the will of God. God will continue to order your steps. You will never go wrong. I, and this is for the ones who keep saying, oh, ain't no sin greater than no other sin. Stop saying that, y'all. Them old traditions. We live in the revelations. Stop Amen. stop with the, oh, nah, 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 ain't no sin. We ain't no other sin. Sin is sin. Stop it. And let's not wait until the separation happens or until God smites the enemies. Amen. Until we now we believe and now we see, oh, well, dang, we are in Revelations. Let's not do that because then right. it's going to be too late then. Yes. Ain't no, I'm, stop saying that, please. Y'all, can y'all please stop saying that? In Jesus' name, can we agree to stop saying, sin is just sin. It's just, ain't no sin is sin is sin. Listen, uh, it's shedding the innocent blood is not just sin. Understand that? Okay. Do you hear me? Stop saying, okay, go somewhere. I'll, you go come back because the Lord going to redirect you right back sure here. Is. Listen, stop <laughs> saying Jesus that. Jesus' name. Please stop saying that. Shed the innocent blood is not just sin, okay? Mm -hmm. It is evil doing. It is sacrificing blood. It's sacrificing body, spirit, souls, okay? That's sacrificial, mm -hmm. all right? Stop saying that, all right? Mm -hmm. You cannot change the Bible's descriptions around to fit you. And for the Pope, we got something for you. Mm -hmm. The Lord has a scripture just specifically for you. you. Period. You can't mold it into make it fit you. And I'm going to say this again. People keep saying, I, 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 I'm not against that because love is love. Marriage is love. No, but th with that love, it comes principles in order. Man and woman. We also okay. Um, understand that you cannot bear fruit in that other way. Okay, you cannot. You cannot create another likeness, another image of God. Okay. Okay. <laughs> it stops right there. Okay. 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 We also, as Christians, believers, and, and followers of Jesus Christ, we have to know what the Christian values are. Okay? Christian values means that you, do you know what that means? That means you know what the word of God says, and you're not trying to manipulate God's word to fit you, to cover up some sin so you can continue to do it. Right. Okay? And right. that's what a lot of the, especially the Pope. Now, now, come on now. It's plain as day in the Bible. So how, so how in the world is you able to sit there and, and say, okay, well, homosexuality or whatever, they're God's children. We are all God's children, but that doesn't mean because we're God's children, God is saying, okay, you can do that. And I'm not going to do anything to you, even though my word says that I'm against that. That is a sin, and you will die a second death in the lake of fire. Even though my word says that, I don't really mean that. I mean you can still continue to do what you got to do. That don't even make sense. So now we calling the Bible and God a lie? And not only, no, the devil is a lie in Jesus' name. And, and not, only, not only a sin, he said an abomination. 
do, do that. So come on now, let's get out our own emotions and feelings and, and wisdom. And, then heard, and let's seek the Lord and, for his wisdom. And then you heard you got, got people talking about, well, we all an abomination of God. No, we not. The devil is a lie again in Jesus' name. Stop trying to make Just it fit. He lost. assigned it to certain lost. certain sins that you 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 commit. That, that you, you understand what I'm saying? People be trying to rub it together like lotion. You trying to put it? No. Ha. Um. Nah, he he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not. You right, Miss Daisy. Let's get us a prayer in y'all so we get this word in us. Um. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Father God of the heavenly realms, we come to you right now, thanking you for today, thanking you for waking us up and leading us up to now. Yes, Lord. Father God, we thank you for uh, the, the souls and the minds and the hearts that tune into this broadcast right now, Father God. We yes, thank Lord. you for them in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Father God, in this hour and this moment, we ask that you forgive us of all sin. Yes, God. Father God, we ask that you cleanse us of all unrighteousness. Yes, Lord. But also, Father, we ask that you open our hearts and our minds up to your word. Yes, God. Father God, we thank you for your provision. Father God, we thank you for your leadership. We thank you for your word yes, Lord. that teaches us and guides us yes, along Lord. the way. Yes, Father God, we thank you for your word that it helps us make better decisions, yes, godly Lord. decisions, thank Father you, God, Jesus. and not thank lean you, on Jesus. our own thoughts and our own feelings, thank Father God, God, in Jesus' thank name. You, Jesus. Father God, thank we declare and decree James 1 and 5 over yes, this broadcast, God. over our spirits, yes, over our Lord. minds, over our yes, hearts. Lord. Your word says, is anyone, if any of you lack wisdom, you should ask yes, God who gives generously to all without finding yes, fault. Lord. And it will be given to you in, yes, Jesus, name. in Jesus' name. Father God, we Thank declare and decree John 5 and 30 in Jesus' name. Yes, Your word Lord. says, by myself, I can do nothing. Yes, Lord. I judge only Ooh. as I hear. Thank and my judgment is just. Thank you, for I seek not to please myself, Thank but you, him Jesus. who sent me Thank in Jesus. Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father God, we ask that you have your way. Yes, Father Lord. God, we ask that you fill us up till our cup is running over. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. In Father Jesus God, we name. only want to give you glory and you glory alone. Yes, Lord. Father God, for we are sheep and you are our shepherd. Yes, God. And thank we you, thank Jesus. you for that. Thank you, Lord. So, Father God, have your way in Jesus' in mighty Jesus name. name. To the Almighty, Most High God, creator of all things, judge of all men. Amen. 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 Let's go. Amen. Amen. Let's go. Um, so we can clear our minds up real quick, like, whoo, all right, <coughs> the word. Let's get on down through it, because it's 11 o'clock. We should be done in about 30 minutes. Let's try to do it in about 30 minutes, love. We okay. Can, we can try. We can try. Okay, but if you listen, can't hang in here and you got to go to bed, go to bed. We're going to keep going, and you can catch up on it tomorrow when you wake up. And also, if we will upload the video on YouTube as well. This video will go on YouTube, y'all. And just to let you know, some of these broadcasts are going to not be broadcasted on Facebook. But what you will be able to do is go catch it on YouTube. YouTube. Okay? Um, the Lord is telling us to do some things. Y'all bear with us. Try to get in here with us. Stay connected with us. Okay? In okay. Jesus' name, I declare you will. We connected with All the right. Lord. Um, starting off with James 3 and 17. Because, see, the Lord is not saying, um, um, put this out here for people to just casually come get a word. No, he's saying they got to no, want the word. The he said they got to want to seek the word. Amen. So whatever they got to do, they're going to get the word. You understand Amen. what I'm saying? Amen. It's real in the field. Ain't no more baby in it. Ain't no more, mm -hmm. uh, please come and hear me. No, listen, you got to want it in your spirit. No, it's okay? real. All right? Mm -hmm. I would rather have, we would rather have 200 solid, godly Christians following this page didn't have 3,000 laggers and just, oh, I'm going to casually get this word when I get to doing my thing. No. Did not even apply it. Okay? I'm, we are cool with that. Mm -hmm. All right? Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord. Let's go. Because you got to understand the Lord desires for none to perish, okay? Amen. But he's not going to sit here and, and baby you all the way to him. No. You have to be willing. You have to be wanting it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Okay? Amen. There's no more casual church going on. Mm -hmm. We in Revelations. Either you mm -hmm. want this thing, because the Lord already said it's going to be a small flock. It's going to be a little, a little flock. flock. He sure did. He said it's going to be a little sure flock. Did. And he helped me understand sure that. Did. And even mm -hmm. though that grieved my heart, mine too. I have my to be Lord. obedient to what he say. 
Amen. So we have to speak. We speak what God says. And we in Revelation, so that's what's being spoken about. Amen. Amen. James 3 and 17. Because we tell my wisdom so we can stop making decisions off consciousness. And feelings. I don't want to hear nothing about no consciousness. And opinions. Okay. James 3 and 17. But the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure. It's first of all, it's pure. Mm -hmm. Then peace, loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. sincere. It is that. Mm -hmm. But wisdom that comes from heaven not from self, not from feelings. Mm -hmm. Wisdom, not from your homeboy, mm -hmm. not from your granny, mm -hmm. not from your partner, not from the dude that read all the books and all of this and that and all. No, but the wisdom that comes from heaven Amen. is first of all pure. Mm -hmm. Then peace, loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit. Impartial and sincere. Yes, Lord. The Lord means it. Yes, Lord. And if you feel like you lack the knowledge, ask him for it. Ask him for wisdom. If you feel like you're lacking wisdom, before you make a decision, of, when you get into, and you feel like you get into an argument with somebody on Facebook about whatever, mm -hmm. and it's about making the decision of who, who know what and what, you pause right there and ask God for wisdom. Ask for his wisdom so you can respond right and it won't get up under your skin when they respond back ignorant or with their own wisdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Amen. Proverbs 1 and 7. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Mm. But fools despise wisdom and instruction. <laughs> and, 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 and fools... Okay. Don't like correction. Mm -mm. See, I, I, we accept correction. Absolutely. Don't let me walk around and be wrong. Okay. Don't, don't, don't let me walk around here talking about, yeah, that's it. And it ain't it. Mm -hmm. You, you just allow me to look crazy. Amen. And Amen. see, I can accept correction. A lot of people don't like to accept correction because they feel like they dumb. No, you just didn't know. Or they feel like they know it all. Or they, right. right. Okay? Mm -hmm. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Fearing of the Lord. Okay. Knowing that this thing is wrong. Knowing, mm -hmm. knowing that same-sex marriage is wrong. Mm -hmm. Knowing that changing your body parts into another Gender is wrong. Mm -hmm. You should fear even trying it. Changing your birthright. You giving up your birthright. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should fear that. Because the Lord didn't create you as that. All that he was born like that. No, he wasn't. If he was born like that, why he changing? What's the surgery for? Yeah, we going in there. Ain't no. Mm -mm. Your soul, your soul <coughs> depend on it. And just because there are laws and, and, and society accepts it does not mean that it's not a sin. And it doesn't mean that it makes it right. It goes completely against what it says in the Bible. Okay. Hey, um... You can't be delivered now, but you got to seek the Lord. Yeah. No, we're not going to turn away from you or none of that. And God is not turning away either if you seek him. You got to seek him. You got to repent. You got to pray. You need to have healing hands and oil on you to get them demons up out of you, that homosexuality demon, bind, cancel, and loosen that, and send it back to the pits of hell in Jesus' name. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Cancel. So the Lord can, can heal you and deliver you from that. Yeah. Hey, listen to what I'm saying. If you feel like that, if you've been that way, if you feel like you're, 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 you you got homosexual, whatever, listen, dudes, ladies, call us. 
We're not backing down from nothing. Mm -hmm. Not now, demonic spirit. Let us help you out. Mm -hmm. See, that's what, what the church is for. That's We're right. on assignments. That's right. We're not turning you away from the church, no. That's right. You get me? We're mm -hmm. not condemning you. We can't. Mm -mm. It's for us to help each other, help us with understanding. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right? Mm -hmm. If you have participated, you've been swindled into it. You have been molested as a child. You have been deceived as a child. Somebody has abused you. Hey, reach out. Mm -hmm. That is not true. That is not the way. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? And shame on whoever did you like that. Amen. Whoever the enemy used to do you like that. Because we're not fighting against flesh and blood. Because a lot of people is struggling in that. And some people are taking their own lives. Some people feel like they have nowhere to go. Most of the churches that, you know, especially traditional church, done pushed them out. Yeah. Done push all everybody out. That's why people go to church and pretend like they got their stuff all together. Or, or they try to go somewhere to fit in where they said that is okay. Mm -hmm. Now they get deeper into the sin. Mm -hmm. Now ain't nobody getting delivered. A whole church full of homosexuality demons. And somebody that's speaking on it's okay. And no one in it. And he know. Yeah, see, see, see. They on assignments, y'all. Y'all got to understand it's the end times. They play a part in this end time movement. Just as well as we do. Why do you think the enemy is doing what they're doing to them? And I mean by we is us. Y'all on here, mm -hmm. us, the church, mm -hmm. the kingdom. Mm -hmm. Let's go. The enemy is trying to win however many souls he can right now. He's trying to win them over. Mm -hmm. All right. Ephesians 5, 15 through 17 yes, says, be very careful then how you live, not as unwise, but as wise making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. Yes, Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. I'm going to slow it down mm -hmm. so we can really get this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit, fill us up. Yes, fill us up. In Jesus' name. How should yes, they get Lord. this shit? Yes, In Jesus' name. Yes, this it says, be very Jesus. careful. You, then how you live. Not as unwise, mm -hmm. but as wise, mm -hmm. making the most of every opportunity. Yes, Lord. Because the days are evil. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Therefore, do not be foolish. But understand what the Lord's will is. The days are evil. There's a difference between sin and being evil. Mm -hmm. Understand that. Amen. Amen. Yes, Anybody that's for, um, uh, uh, especially in this time, that is for abortion. We're not talking about before now. If you participate in it, you ask for forgiveness, you repent it, you will not do it again. You in there. Okay, mm -hmm. you good. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about if you're going through that right now and you're thinking about doing it, give the baby up for adoption. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that, that can't conceive right now that would love your baby. Amen. Okay? Amen. But don't submit to that abomination. Amen. Don't feel bad because you gave your baby up for adoption. You didn't kill your baby. Amen. You allowed your baby to be loved by someone. Amen. Amen. Okay? Because once you go into that abortion thing in this time, because mm -hmm. they trying to pass laws to even kill the abort the baby after birth. Mm -hmm. That's evil. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's murder. That shedding of innocent blood, that baby didn't have a chance to fight back, didn't get to hold his hands up, didn't get to do nothing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's evil. Mm -hmm. It's sacrificial. It's sacrificing. Mm -hmm. souls, okay? Mm -hmm. It's sacrificing um, God's child. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Lord said your children are a fruit from the womb. And also a reward. And a reward. 
Therefore, do not be foolish, okay? Don't be foolish, but understand the will, the, the will, the Lord's will, what the Lord will is, okay? Proverbs 3 and 7. So when you're making decisions, <coughs> don't lean on this consciousness stuff. Don't lean on all this, um, well, I, both of them is this, and, um, it went, I just, uh, you know, feel me. According to Proverbs 3 and 7, do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. Yep. <laughs> so, you know, this, this last verse, this whole wisdom, right? Seeking God for wisdom, okay? Remember church and the Lord's going to keep repeating this over and over again until we really understand it. Yes. But Romans 12 and 2, do not be conformed to this world. See, the world does not seek God for wisdom. The world seeks their own understanding, their own experiences, emotions, whatever, doctrine degrees, whatever it is that they have, their own knowledge. That's what the world does. But see, we're the church, we're the body of Christ. We are actually believers and followers of Jesus Christ. So our mind is now renewed to the word of God. So if the word of God says uh, uh, your mind is transformed and renewed by the word of God, then that means that we know that we have to go to God and ask for wisdom in everything that we do. So we church should not be behaving responding and doing the same things as the world because we are set apart this is the set apart and chosen right. you can't say you set apart and chosen that you kingdom minded and you kingdom but then you over here acting and behaving like the people of the world the bible makes it very clear about the separation as you are seeking you begin to truly understand power off the separation, you begin to truly understand the word of God. So that means you begin to seek God for his wisdom. You know that you can't do it by yourself. You don't want to use your own wisdom. You don't want to use your own thoughts. You don't want to vote because granny them been telling you to vote like that since you was two years old. You don't want to do that anymore. The word of God says not to do that. Amen. Amen. Listen to this, y'all. This is for Mr. Uh, Mr. Pope Pope and all of his followers and everyone that believed that what he said is true. Everyone that wants to um, that wants to um, sugarcoat that thing like my like like my sister uh, Daisy O said. <laughs> the Lord ain't gonna sugarcoat it for you. Mm -mm. He got to give it to you, raw. Amen. For you to fully understand. He is God all along. And his word stands. Amen. Period. You can't change it. Mm -hmm. Period. To fit your suit. No. Mm -hmm. Okay. Romans 1 26 through 29. Mm -hmm. Check it out, Pope. And his followers and all that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Listen up, buddy. Mm -hmm. Because of this, God gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Men committed shameful acts with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error. Hold on. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God, so God gave them over to be a de depraved mind so that they do what ought not to be done. They have become filled with every kind of wickedness, mm -hmm. evil, greed, mm -hmm. and depravity. They are full of envy, murder, strife, 
deceit, and malice. They are gossips. Huh. He said, what? You can even tell in his face. Go look at that picture. Mm. Is that like a godly face to you? Okay. okay. Look at his eyes. The eye says it all. Mm. Pay attention. Mm. Let those with ears hear and those with eyes see. Hear? Mm -hmm. the skill out there. Because of this, God gave them all, gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with, the, with women and were inflamed with lust for one another. Yeah. Men committed shameful acts with one another. I mean, with other men and received in themselves the due penalty for their error, for their error, the due penalty, the due penalty. They received it. Furthermore, just as they did not think it worthwhile to retain the knowledge of God because they want to shape it up into their own way. They don't want to take what the Lord said because mm -hmm. his word is superior mm -hmm. over all. Mm -hmm. Okay. So God gave them over to a depraved mind. Mm -hmm. You refuse to believe the Lord's word. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're trying to shape it up to fit you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to be addressed as a woman knowing you're a man. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You want to be addressed as a man knowing you're a woman. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're trying to make laws to pass it. It's, it's something against people if they don't want to address you by your birthright. Mm -hmm. They call that hate crime or whatever. they try, Trying to pass. Listen. This don't even make sense. So your children's children will surely be confused. And do we, we all know where confusion come from, right? The enemy. So God gave them over to a depraved mind so that they did not want, so they do what ought not to be done. They have beca become filled with every kind of wickedness. They have been filled with every kind of wickedness, mm -hmm. evil, mm -hmm. greed, mm -hmm. and depravity. Depravity. Yeah, depravity. Yeah. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, and malice. They are gossips. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hold on. I ain't through. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Get that in spirit. Pope, 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 pope boy. <laughs> Bless his heart. I'm, I'm, you know what? Because see, the Lord said, even love thy enemies. So I'm going to pray for him. Absolutely. I'm going to bind loose and counsel every demonic spirit moving and operate in him in Jesus' name. And praying for the souls that's following him too in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lord. Yeah, they calling it discrimination. <laughs> How? <laughs> Lawlessness. The Bible calls that lawlessness. Yeah. Romans 1, 26 and 32. See, the Lord said, be bold, be brave and courageous. Mm -hmm. You hear me? According to what is Joshua 1 and 9? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you can't shut us up. You're not going to allow the church to accept it. Nope. We not no accepting church. Nope. We, we only accept what the Bible says. Do, okay? do not mold this thing because your your child or something has as in like you got a tomboy and it's just, she started doing. You better you pray against that demon. Don't mold it. Nope. Because your against son is that. maybe a little feminine. It's all right for him. No, it's not, no, baby. Dang. Pray against it. Pray that against is demonic. it. Continue to love on your baby. Love on your child like you're supposed to. But you got to tell him what's right and what's wrong. What the Lord said. Tell it's him what the Lord all. said. Okay. Uh, uh, according to Romans 26 and 32. I, did, did the Catholic come from the Romans? I, I'm, I'm going to research is, that. If anybody is, can yeah. answer that question for me, please let me know. Is. Because I'm so going to um, research that. Where did this, this Catholic stuff come from? And I'm not nothing against the ones who've been following that they ain't with that. But you, I, I'm researching that tonight. You're, but if y'all notice, uh, majority of these other religions 
take you further and further away from God and Jesus Christ. Half yeah. of them don't even mention Jesus Christ. They just can't say God, that. you know, mm -hmm. like can't he didn't that. have a son. Like we, we you can't do that. The son is how we is even here today. The yeah. son is how we are free. Yeah. Come on now. <laughs> Jesus was sent to give us a refreshing. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> to do the new thing. Who the son says free is free mm -hmm. indeed. According to Romans 1, 26 through 32. Because of this, God gave them over. Hold on. Oh, that's 230, 32. Hold on. Let me get up in there. Okay, no, no, no. It went on. Oh, I see. He, said, he says, hold on. It, 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 let me start over here and then uh, they got to be 20. Hold on real quick. This got to be 30 through 32. Okay. They are gossips, slanders, God haters, <laughs> insolent, arrogant, and boastful. They invent ways of doing evil. This is the Lord's word. This is not our words. Hello. They invent ways of doing evil. They disobey their parents. They have no understanding. No fidelity. Fidelity. No love. No mercy. Mm. Although they know God's righteous decree that those who do such things deserve death. Mm, my, my. They not only continue to do these very things, but they also approve of those who practice them. My, 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 my. Hold on. We say, we say they, boom. Big game. You cannot. What the Pope just did. You cannot make this fit you. You cannot make it mold to how you. Oh, they said they're God children, God's children too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Boy, you trying to fill your congregation mm -hmm. up with more demonic spirits, and you trying to win God's children over by that. But I cancel that assignment. In Jesus' name. Mm. Yes, Lord. Yeah. By kingdom authority. Yes, Lord. Mm. Amen. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. They are gossipers. They're gossips. They're gossip slanders. Mm -hmm. God haters. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Insolent, arrogant, and boastful. Mm -hmm. They they invent ways of doing evil. That is inventing a way to do evil. Mm -hmm. These legislations, to all this abortion and all this stuff, and, and to kill babies after the you need say choice, it's choice, choice. You inventing a way to do evil. Yeah. Yeah. You are inventing. Mm -hmm. It didn't exist before now. Right. So why try to make it that now? They disobey their parents. They have no under. They have no understanding. You can't tell them that. They don't, I don't, I don't do what I want to do. I'm just, uh, you, you, you okay? Because you go read Amos, and you, 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 you gonna get what you asking for. Okay. Hello. <laughs> no fidelity, no love, no mercy. Although they, although they know God's righteous decree, even though they know. That those who do such things deserve death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They not only continue to do these very things, but also approve of those who practice them. Mm -hmm. So they saying, come on, come on, homosexuals. Come on, transgenders. Y'all just, the GBQ, the WX. Y'all, come on. We, we going to come over here. Y'all good over here. Demonic. Well, God says to love everybody. Those, oh, those are demons. Oh, oh, we we love you. Mm -hmm. But those are demons. The people need to be set free. They oh. need to be delivered. Oh, we love you. Don't get it twisted. We love you. 
Yeah. We love you. We disagree with that, 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 that thing you got going on. It's not part of the Lord's way. It's not part of the Lord's will. Mm -hmm. He said, know the Lord's will. Know his will. His will is not for us to do that. His will for us to be fruitful. Amen. Obedience is greater than sacrifice. It's Amen. time to be obedient to his word. Amen. We in the last days, y'all. And, and, and you got to understand, the side that you choose that is for that, that means you come in agreement with that and not coming in agreement with the Lord's will. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That is why Uh-oh. we must seek the Lord's wisdom before we just jump on out there and move in our own emotions, feelings, and start voting for things that we have no idea if they have Christian values. What aligns most with Christian values? And if you've already voted and you chose the wrong side, at, repent immediately. Please don't okay. continue promoting that. Ask God to forgive you because he knew <coughs> that you lacked the wisdom. Yes. Amen. You didn't ask him for it. So they, he know you lacked it. They made you get in your feelings. They made you get emotional. You've been all in the social media. You've been all watching the news and you saw every radio station. Uh, this particular way to go. So it's advertising and trying to make you brainwash you to vote a certain way. So you're moving based on that and you're not seeking the Lord for his wisdom on the way that you should go. Do your research. Make sure these people at the end of the day, we still have to have a leader. The leader has to align with Christian values. You cannot be saying you following Jesus Christ and you a believer in God and all this other kind of stuff, but then you over here uh, uh, approving because you following a leader that approves of homosexuality and abortions. That totally goes against what God is saying. That's confusion right there. Yeah. You're not even on um, the other side, the, 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 what's it, the leftist. That they call it. <laughs> they, I don't know. They're not even for prison reform. Um, that's actually saying that someone made a mistake in their life, right? And they got 40 years, okay? And, and th that crime shouldn't have held 40 years on them, right? And and they've been in prison for maybe 15. No problems. They done got education. They done got better with their life. They got their spirit together. Mm -hmm. And you, you don't want to reform that. You want them to do the whole 40. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. God is the God of second chances, third, fourths. Okay. Do you understand what I'm saying? One is saying, no, they did it. Give them 40 years. Let them do the whole 40. And the other one is saying, man, they go in there, they do their time, they get up in there, and they have proven themselves to have changed mentally, spiritually, and physically. They deserve to come out of there and not do that full sentence. And also not to live in poverty. And not live as a slave. Because they go in there and they work for 30 some cent and then come out and well, 30 some cent in the product they make in the company making 40, 50 dollars a pop. That's slavery. And then when you release these brothers or sisters out of that system, you give them 50 dollars and some food stamps. Hmm. Hmm. That is not the Lord's will. I don't care how you look at it. One is saying, oh, you shouldn't be able to bear arms to protect yourself. The other one is saying, yes, I should be able to protect bear arms and protect myself from evildoers. And looters and destruction people. Yeah. And, and, and also, also, you know, people saying, well... The church shouldn't be talking about politics and religion and politics. Uh, you See, first of all... The kingdom holds the higher, first of highest all, authority anyway. First of all, that shows there that you are speaking out of your own emotions and feelings. Because if you have not realized that, yes, we're in revelations and our next move must be our best move. Mm -hmm. That election is not just about the election, honey. It's about... Your spiritual relationship with the Lord. 
Right. That because see that election is going to lead to something that's already in biblical prophecy. Read Revelations. Yeah. Okay. So yes, it needs to be talked about because that's the problem now. Churches have failed to tell the truth. They have failed to tell the truth about the word of God. So now all of these years, we've been running around living in sin, making it acceptable. Laws been changed and everything to mold and shape so you can continue to live in sin. The church done push people out that's been too sinful or you looking too... You're looking to, you're sending yourself out there. So now everybody know you that, uh-uh, we push you out the church. Yes, Ain't nobody man. being healed, delivered, and set free of demons. Half of us didn't even know that it was demons. Okay? So that lack of knowledge has led us all the way up into Revelations. Read Revelations. Do you know Revelations in the beginning talks, to, talks about the seven churches? Jesus is talking to seven different churches. He left churches to occupy until he returns. The church's job was to teach us about spiritual warfare, to wake us up, to tell us the things that we need to know. God has given us the authority that we need to survive. We are already healed, delivered, and set free. But because the church has failed to teach us those things, now here we are in Revelations. So it's do or die, literally. Right. Right. So yes, the election has a lot to do with what's going on. And and you and you sound crazy talking about the church shouldn't sister. If you say you believe in Jesus Christ, you are the church. This is we're not talking about the building. <laughs> we're not talking about Lord the building. Help us. I, I gotta do separation. The church. Lord help we us. We are the church. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. The see, church shouldn't. Know that we are the church. Yet. You are the church. If you are a follower and believer of Jesus Christ. So why you shouldn't? Why we shouldn't? <laughs> Crazy. The lack of knowledge, y'all. The lack of lack of knowledge. Can you pull up that verse to say the God of this time is what? What what verse said? What? You mean you said the God of this time has deceived and this the, the, the non believers? You, you, you read it to me. Is that the one I posted earlier? Yeah. Y'all hang on. We almost done. Cause Ooh, we, we, I got to do separation. Baby, these folks got to go to bed. <laughs> Look, I done fired up in here. I know y'all got to get to bed. So we almost, we going we gonna to do it probably a live one tomorrow evening. Because the lack of reproof equals unfit judge from improper discernment. Hey. Mm -hmm. Hey. Which word we at, right here? Mm-mm, that's my, my word, right here. Unless well, you don't want me to touch nope, her word. No, nope, that's my word. <laughs> but no, listen to this. Second Corinthians. It's going on right now. But oh, listen. The Lord is going to do his thing. The Lord, he is doing it in this hour. Yes. The increase is here. Mm -hmm. Listen, the increase is here. Your prayers are about to succeed. I'm talking to the, the see, see, I'm talking to the church now. Right, the church. I'm, I'm talking to the church, believers the believers and, and followers. followers of Jesus the Christ. ones that have been going through spiritual warfare, the ones that have been on their knees, the ones that have been uh, praying without ceasing, the ones that, yeah, 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 you finna get your portion. You hear me? In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. See, when he said, if my people, mm -hmm. you gotta pay attention to what he said, if my people, mm hmm. He didn't say of all people. Second Chronicles 7 and 14. What do you say? If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves before the Lord. I got I don't know. What turn I away mean. from their wicked ways. Y'all know that verse. Mm -hmm. But he said my people. Confess their sins. Right. And turn from their wicked ways. Then I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. I'll forgive their sin and heal their land. Right. If my people. Mm -hmm. He didn't say all people. Right. He said if he my said if my people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you got to make sure you his people. Mm -hmm. That's why it's so, it is so real in the field, y'all. Don't 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 play. We it's spiritual warfare, and again, it's a separation. Okay. Listen, this Second Corinthians four and four. It's a big one. According to his word, he said, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers 
so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that, that displays the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. So that's why they can't see. Because they're an unbeliever. And we're going to go, I, I, the Lord is using me to teach about what is an unbeliever. See, we got to understand. See, that we the lack of knowledge. See, a lot of us don't understand what all is a sin sin. What is an unbeliever? I do believe in God. Okay, mm -hmm. well, we need to understand exactly what that means. Do you? Do you really? So that means you believe that God is the Father, our Creator, <coughs> the Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior, the Messiah, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of God, the Holy Trinity. Right. So you believe in all three? Do you? Or are you just saying God? Or are Ooh, you, I can't wait to go. Ooh. Or are you just saying... Y'all lucky it's or, late. Or are you just saying most high, like he didn't have a son? Y'all lucky it's late. I'm ready to go in. Come on, baby. Uh-uh. Okay. You got in this because I'm ready okay. to go in. Okay. Okay. Can you read my <laughs> word? That's my word. See how you're trying to... I'm just saying, it, the Holy Spirit told me to grab it. You hear me? So I'm I know, because it's powerful. Second Corinthians <laughs> 4 and 4. <laughs> it's powerful. I know. <laughs> it said, the God of this age has blinded the minds of unbelievers so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ who is the image of God. Do y'all know what that just said? Unbelievers means you don't believe in Jesus Christ. That's why it says, so, they, so that they cannot see the light of the gospel that displays the glory of Christ. Who is Christ? Jesus Christ, who is the image of God, his Jesus. son. Jesus his son. So, um, Whew, I can't wait to go over that. When, 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 when this man did what I ain't Jesus. seen no president do. Jesus. Um, Ooh, Jesus. He acknowledged the Lord. He acknowledged Jesus say, Christ. Ooh, Jesus. He acknowledged Jesus Christ in front of everybody. Ooh, Lord. Um, Ooh, Lord. I haven't seen nobody else do that. Um, Ooh. I don't care about their walk. Um, none of us are perfect. But we can be made perfect through Jesus Christ. Amen. His word says that. Yeah. All right. So when you don't even acknowledge Jesus Christ and you and you you following uh, movements that are led by witches and all that, and they openly said they're witches. Um, oh Lord. Yeah. <clears throat> I say, oh Lord. You gotta watch it. All right. So um, y'all, I hope this blessed you. Um, this this wasn't an old frightening broadcast. This was one of those, hey, pay attention. It's the truth broadcast. This is one of those, hurts. pay attention. Open your the eyes. That it shall set you free. The, Lord is, the Lord is doing a separation, and my wife will do a separation tomorrow, y'all. Hopefully, we can do it well, tomorrow. probably not tomorrow. Probably would have to be... We'll see. We'll see. We got because we got to give victory tomorrow. because we ain't going to talk about the enemy like that. But we want to talk to to the believers and followers of Jesus Christ that the truth is the truth. All right. It's about saving souls. Yeah. It's, it's not. See, God's word is true. Period. So it's not that the words that are being released is the instructions we had to release this word is the truth needs to be released to the people. People are walking around here blind and deceived and confused. Right. So that is the reason that the Holy Spirit has us release these words. It needs to be released because it's going to happen whether you know it or not. So it's about saving your soul. Amen. Amen. So since a lot of us aren't seeking the word to get the knowledge, that is why God uses his people. Okay. To give the word. To teach the word, to teach the truth, to spread the truth about the gospel. Right. Now, when it's time for a victory word, a victory word will be released. But right now, it's about truth. The truth needs to be released. There are people, laws and stuff like that, that is going against the Lord. Truth needs to be released. So if it's not, if it's too much for you, we just going to pray for you. But at the end of the day, the truth has to come out. The truth will set you free. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Man, God bless y'all, man. We thank y'all for tuning in. We're going to get us a prayer before we get out for y'all. 
Um, um, I like that. I like that. Um, Daisy, yeah, that's my girl. I, okay. I, I ain't forgot about that. I ain't forgot about the shirt. Okay. <laughs> um, man, y'all pray for us as we pray for you. Okay. Um, we love y'all yeah. with the love of God. All right? That's right. That's and, right, and, Demarcus. And, 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 and we pray that's, that's the Lord's why. will over y'all, man. <laughs> Listen. Um, Okay. Get, get us up out of here, baby. We're going to pray and we're going to get us a song because we need a touch from the Lord. You hear me? A lot of us need a touch from him. Um, a lot of believers that who need to be followers right now. Mm. See, see, it's the difference between believers and followers. You know that too, okay? No, Even the devil, even the demons believe. Okay. Understand that. Mm -hmm. There's a difference. So if you're a believer, it's time to follow. It's time to let go of some of the old habits. It's time to it's time mm -hmm. to go forward. Don't be casual. Oh, I can still do this. No, if you want to re receive the fullness of what God has for you, you got to let it go. Otherwise, you're going to be stagnant in that same spot. Instead of going two steps forward and 30 steps back. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right. That's right. Trust the Lord with all your heart, okay? Lean not on your own understanding. All right. Woo! Let's go. Father God, Lord, we thank you for this prayer hour. God, we thank you for the word that's been released upon us today. Lord, we thank you, God, for wisdom. God, we thank you that we pray out to you, Lord, and that we ask for wisdom and you give it to us generously according to James 1 and 5. My Lord, we ask that you open up our hearts, open up our minds, Father God, so that we can receive this word in the spirit. Yes. We ask that you kill and crucify our flesh, Father God, and fill us up with your Holy Spirit. Saturate us right now, Father God, as your word says that the Holy Spirit will fall upon us, Lord, and we receive it in Jesus' name. Father, we repent of all sins, known and unknown. Father, we ask that you forgive us uh, for all of the things that we have done. Forgive us if there has been any wickedness any murders anything father that we have done that was not pleasing to you yes. we declare and decree second chronicles 7 and 14 over us over this live and even over the whole entire nation and world in jesus name it says if my people who are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then i will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and heal their heal their land Father God, we thank you, Lord, for answering our prayers, God. We thank you for showing up on our behalf, Lord. We thank you that um, the souls have turned from their wicked ways, Father God, and that they are now surrendering and submitting to you in the name of Jesus. Name Father, of Jesus. we plead the blood of Jesus over every single soul, Father God, as the blood of Jesus is superior and powerful over all yeah. in Jesus' name. Jesus. My Lord, we also declare and decree Luke 13 and 3 over us all over every single person nation lost enemy everybody in jesus name yeah. says no i tell you but unless you repent you will all likewise perish father god we repent on behalf of our brothers and sisters yeah. and lord we ask that you answer our prayers god as we do not desire for any soul to perish and i know that's your desire as well Lord, we thank you on tonight as you continue to lead and guide us. Father God, we ask that you meet us in our personal space on tonight. Mm -hmm. As we go and pray before you, Father God, that you will speak to us, that you will tell us things that we do not know, according to uh, Jeremiah 33 and 3. Lord, we ask that you heal every single part of us that may be hurting and that you forgive us, Father, of all sins. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. To the most high God, creator of all things, judge of all men, amen. 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 And amen again. All right, y'all. Let me get us a track. Y'all know how we do. We ain't going to get off of her all. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Let's go. Um, we will be broadcasting, dropping this on YouTube, y'all. Um, So, you know. If Facebook do their thing with it, it's going on YouTube. Power on. You know, because they don't start out this yeah. this censorship. Bluetooth pairing. Come on, censorship. Yeah. Bluetooth connected. Uh, let's go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Asked a bill to. Daisy. I wish Washington girl, had Daisy. more people like you. Hey, <laughs> Lion. Daisy, Daisy. Uh, Mama BJ, hey baby, hey, Mama Ain't BJ. Zoe. What's Good happening? Marcus. 
Thank you for tuning in. There's been a drought for way too long. We need to sing our freedom song. Oh Lord, we need a touch from you. We really need a touch from you. Lord, we need to hear your voice. Our hearts are open, we have no choice. Oh Lord, we need a touch from you. We really need a touch from you. Send your channel yes, and subscribe y'all we, yes, well, I know we've been saying this for a minute but we uploaded from now on we gotta, we gotta get it out there yes, um, it's not just about Facebook this thing should be going nationwide all amen, right? amen. and we would love to have y'all support and y'all help to help us get the Lord's word out there and right. also um, go into your personal prayer space before you go to bed say a prayer go spend some time with the Lord pray with the Lord Remember, it's not just about us. Um, this ministry also teaches the importance about having a personal relationship with God. Amen. All right. All we right, love y'all. Big Game Ministries. Y'all have a blessed night. Send your prayer requests. If you have any, send it to the inbox. If the Lord leads you to sow into this word, sow into it. Uh, sow into yourself. Whatever. Pray about it first. If the Lord leads you to, do so. But y'all have a blessed night. Get in the bed. Tomorrow's Friday. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Knock it out. All right. Love y'all. Big game.